Hi everyone, this is Madison. Welcome to another tip presented by JSCM Group. This month, I want to walk you through making sure your device is secured for remote access. There may be situations in which you need to allow remote access to your WatchGuard device. This may be due to a third-party contractor needing access, or you opening a ticket with a WatchGuard tech support in which they will need access into your firewall. In order to allow remote access to your firewall, we want to take a look at the WatchGuard policy. In its default form, this policy is written to allow anyone on your trusted or optional networks to access your firewall. To add remote access, it is best to do this by the user's external IP address. Let's say you need to allow access for a user coming from the IP 50.50.50.50. .50 We're just going to add that into the From section. One thing you absolutely want to avoid is adding in any external. This is going to allow anyone from outside your network the ability to remotely access your device. These steps are going to be the same for the WatchGuard web UI policy. This policy allows access to your firewall's web interface. You want to ensure you're using the same precautions when editing this policy. As an added security feature, you can edit both of these policies so they only allow access to your firewall from key devices inside of your network. For example, you can remove any trusted and any optional and just put in the IP address of your computer. I would recommend making sure you have more than one address in here just as an added precaution. This tip has been presented by JSCM Group. Check us out online at www.jscmgroup.com. Make sure to check out our WatchGuard training section for dates on our upcoming classes.